Hi everyone, Jason Freeberg here from Snowflake, and today we're announcing the public preview of the new local testing framework for Snowpark Python. With this new feature, you can create data frames locally, like on your laptop or a CI pipeline, all without having to connect to Snowflake. So let's hop over to VS Code and see how this new feature works. So in the first line, I'm importing the session class from Snowpark. If you've used Snowpark before, this probably looks familiar. And then on the next line, I'm creating the session object. But under config, where you would normally pass your username and password, now we're just passing local testing and setting that value to true. And then we create the session. After that, we create a data frame from that session, as we would normally. And then from there, you can transform that data frame and interact with that data frame using all the same Snowpark Python API methods. So now we'll come down here, and we can run this example. And you'll see that it executes very quickly because there's no network connection between my laptop and Snowflake. The data frame is created locally, and it acts on that data frame locally as well. So that was a quick example to introduce the feature, but where this really shines is when you use it with PyTest and other testing frameworks. So here I have a project in VS Code that has a stored procedure that does a simple ETL job. So it takes in an input table here, applies some transformations to the data frame, and then writes two output tables with the cleaned and aggregated data. And then I also have three data frame transformers that are used inside that stored procedure. And each of them takes in a data frame and returns a data frame and in between applies some data frame transformations. This pattern is really nice because it allows me to unit test each of these data frame transformations. And so that's exactly what I have here in the project. I have a test directory right here. And so I have a test case for my store procedure. And then I have test cases here for each of those data frame transformers. And so each of these test cases follows a pretty standard format where I create the input data, the expected output data, and then I call the method and then check to see if the expected data and the output data and the actual data match. So I don't yet have local testing set up with PyTest. So first, let's just run this with a standard Snowflake session. So here it's running the test case for the stored procedure first, and then it's running for those three transformers. And it took about six and a half seconds. So now what we'll do is come over to my test configuration. And here I have the PyTest fixture for my Snowflake session. So this is where that session is created and then passed to each of those test cases. So we're going to do a small update here and then add about two and a half lines of code. And now we just have a simple conditional where if when you run PyTest, if you're setting Snowflake session to local, then we're going to create a local session. Otherwise, if that option isn't being set, then you're just going to create a normal session. And then up here on lines five and six, that's where I'm actually adding the Snowflake session option to PyTest. So now we'll save this change. And then down in the terminal, we can run PyTest with Snowflake session set to local. And when I run this, you'll see that, like in the earlier example, it runs very quickly because I'm not doing any network request and response for each of those data frames. So it runs that test suite in about a tenth of a second. So that shows how you can switch between using the local and live modes in your PyTest configuration. And then you can also use this with CI pipelines. So what we'll do here is push a commit up to my repository. And then if we hop over to GitHub, we're looking at my repository here. And we can see that a GitHub Actions workflow got kicked off right here. So if we look at the GitHub Actions workflow file that I have set up, it's pretty simple. It's just checking out the repository contents, setting up Anaconda and installing my dependencies. And then down here, it's running PyTest with the local session. On the other hand, you could also remove this and then run 
the Pi test with a live connection, that's totally fine. Either pattern works. But now we'll pop back over to my GitHub Actions workflow and we'll check on the running job here. And we can see that it actually just complete. So setting up Conda took about 30 seconds, but running the tests like we saw locally took just about a tenth of a second. So that's the new local testing framework for Snowpark Python. If you want to try this feature or learn more, check out the links below to the tutorial and the documentation. Thanks for watching.